Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Did you get a banjo for Christmas? I didn't get a banjo for Christmas, but I bet you did. Cause you're here and you're you're trying to figure out how to tune it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through a couple of ways of tuning your banjo and, and hopefully this this helps you out enough to at least get you started. Cause you know, you gotta be in tune. So what I'm gonna do first. Is I'm just going to play you each note and you can just use it as a reference. So you could come back to this and, and match your strings to mine. And that that's a, that's a really easy way to do it. But then I'm going to show you how to tune to yourself. And then I'm going to show you how to use an electronic tuner as well. So let's, uh, let's just jump into this. If you like this sort of content, be sure to hit a like button. Maybe leave a comment. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be awesome. If you want to get notifications when I post new videos, ring the bell. Now, before we get started, I want to just explain that I count my strings from the floor to the ceiling. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to give you each of those notes. So we'll start with a fifth string, work our way down. So it's a G. And then the fourth string is a D. And then the third string is a G. Second string is a B. And the first string is a D. And you can match your strings to those. Just do the best you can. They don't have to be perfect. But let's say you, you don't have any, any form of reference. So let's say your banjo was just, I'm just gonna twist some pegs. We don't know where anything is now. We just, we just messed everything up. So now we're out of tune. This could be very much like your banjo when you got it for Christmas. So let's start with the fourth string. That's a little loose. Let's just tighten it up a little bit. That's good, tight enough. Don't wanna to go too tight. And, and we're not gonna be tuning to anything other than just ourselves. So we're gonna hit that note. And now we got to figure out where our next note is. So what I want you to do is I want you to fret that string at the fourth or fifth fret. My bad. Fret it at the fifth fret. And then. And make that one match it. So the fourth string at the fifth fret. And match the third string open to it. That's close. Now the third string at the fourth fret. Match. Mash it there. And we're going to make the second string sound like that. So those are the same. And then the second string, we want to fret it at the third fret. And we're going to match the first string to it. There you go. And then we're going to fret the first string at the fifth fret. And we're going to make the fifth string match it. There we go. And now we're in tune to ourselves. But we're not really in tune with anybody else. But if you're just practicing at home, you, you can do that. It, it'll it work. Uh, easy enough. All right. Now, if you... If you've got a cell phone, and whether you've got Apple or Android, either one, you can get a tuning app. And I'm going to be using ClearTune, and I'm going to put it up on the screen for us so you can watch it. I hope. You know, hey, anything's possible, right? So now we've got the tuner on the screen. Hopefully, hopefully this is working. <laughs> and... What we're going to do is we're going to start with our fifth string again, and we want to tune it up to a G. So when I hit this, you see we're not quite a G. So just go slow. There we go. We're on a G. You remember what our next string is? It's a D, so let's try it. So we're low, which is good. It's always good to tune up to a note. That 
that's pretty close. Now, it's hard to get it really exact, but with practice, you can. All right, third string. Remember, it's a G. So we're going to keep going until that comes up to a G. That's pretty close. B on the second string. Getting close. All right, and then finally the first string is a D. And the, and the trick is just to go slow. And then I recommend going through them again. And sometimes you can mute your other strings. Just get that one string ringing. It's a little high. We come back down just a little. That's close. And then G. our B. It's close. And then there's our D. And you may want to go through them a couple of times. If you've got a new banjo, your strings are probably new and they may stretch a bit and that's okay. Just, but tuning is something that takes practice. So hopefully seeing how I do it will help you. Uh, all I can do at this point is just encourage you to practice tuning. That's one of those things that you get better at. You'll eventually just kind of be able to do it by ear, but you have to practice it. All right, folks, you got an in-tune banjo. Close. All right, folks, we'll see you next time.